not only a welcome for today's event, but a special thank you for what you have done. Yeah. Not only for the state, but for this great nation that we call home. At this time, I would ask the American Legion Post 111 to present the colors. We'd like for you to stand for the presentation of the colors, also the Pledge of Allegiance, and then also a prayer by Pastor Ward Dove of the Central and Trinity United Methodist Church. Gentlemen, present the colors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. new kid on the block um, just like to know I know who I'm amongst and I'm so proud to be amongst mm -hmm. each and every one of you but um, I'm electronics technician first class warned of of United States Coast Guard 1974 through 1981 and I'd just like you to say a uh, branch of the service really and maybe <coughs> what years and your your rate or rank or something so so I'll just all the vets so oh uh, Tech Sergeant Donald Shear. I was a member of the U.S. Air Force for um, three years as a radio gunner on a B-26 bomber. Amen. I was shot down on my 46 bombing mission. John Rusk, U.S. Army, 1951-52, Korea veteran. Seaman R. Elkin, 1950 to 1950-1958. USNR. Lawrence Barrett, Staff Sergeant, 1951, 1950. <coughs> Larry Bates was E5 sergeant for two years in the Army. Okay. Mary Priestley, I was in the 8th, 1954 to 1976, <coughs> Master Sergeant, 19 Special Forces. Before that, with the 11th Airborne Division and, and the 82nd Airborne Division. Bob Preston, Sergeant, 11th Airborne Division, Korea, 51 to 53. James Colburn, then service from 1951, retired 1973, Korean veteran. Albert Cooper, was in the Army in 66 through 68, Vietnam, 4th Infantry Division. Special Sabre Day, 5th class, 55, U.S. Army, 68, 74, uh, right now, I was uh, in the first bomb division uh, around Saigon, third at uh, the transportation of the 379 transcom. Right, Sergeant David Shepard, 1966 2006. Theodore Sloan, 1954 1980. I was in Vietnam with the black horses, I made it on the helicopter. Wetzel Sanders, U.S. Army, 1941-45, Pearl Harbor survivor. U.S. Marine Corps, 1946-49, invasion of Water Canal, Bougainville. Gun Corporal on 40 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. Bless you. Uh, Ernest Rock, 
served in Germany in the Korean conflict. This is Raymond Sonny Cummings has had two strokes, so he knows everything he's done, but it's hard for him to tell everybody. So I will help him. He joined the Air Force when he was only 17 in 1962 and served to 1966. Then he joined again in 1989 and he retired in, no, he, he, he joined in 1980, retired in 89 due to a stroke and he retired as a master sergeant. And I'm his caregiver. Okay, anybody else? Color guard, color guard. <clears throat> that it? Anybody else? Any other vets? Let us pray. Lord God, I'm so very honored to be a member of this brotherhood, this fellowship, this special group of people. Lord, as your word so clearly tells us, there is no greater love than to lay down your life for another. Each of these vets today, Lord, have, have given so much. Understanding the meaning of sacrifice, hardship, deprivation, country, family. Lord, there's no way we could ever repay them back. And as we honor these vets today, Lord, we remember those who at this present moment are in harm's way. The men and women of our armed forces who, who right now are defending us and the freedoms we so cherish. <clears throat> Lord, we do ask your blessing on each and every life here, each and every family represented here. We ask your blessing on the food we are about to partake in this time of of joyous celebration. And Lord, as each of us knows so well, we all pray for that time when each and every nation will somehow and in some way turn their swords, turn their weapons into plowshares and there will be war no more. We thank you for this day through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Lincoln County Genealogy Society, also the Hamlin Women's Club, for putting this luncheon together for us today and for the preparation of the food. At this time, we'll let the head table go through the line uh, for lunch, uh, and then we'll proceed from there. Uh, after lunch, we will hear from the mayor here of Hamlin, Chris Wilkerson, and our special speaker, Donald Shear, will be here to speak for us. So at this time, we'll have to begin our lunch. The president of the Hamlin Women's Club, Tina Lambert, where's Tina? In the kitchen. We have with us also the treasurer of the Lincoln County Genealogy Society, Eula, Lula Yeager. Is Lula around? Right here. Right there. Uh, we have with us today Veteran Special Service U.S. Army retiree Marion Priestley. Where's Marion? He's back there. Let's give these folks a hand. I don't know what their titles are, but I know they've put a lot of work into this luncheon. Uh, Miss Dottie and Miss Joetta McAllister Coon back in the back. Let's give them a round of applause. And of course, we want to remember those who fed us today Amen. this wonderful lunch. Uh, the members of the Hamlin Women's Club. Let's give them a round. I've been coming to this event for several years now, and I failed to introduce.